Now we are at the front of our machine at our fertilizer culter. First of all, it's important to check the whole fertilizer system. Means all the hoses going to the culter. In this case here, the V divider, or if you have a different type of tempo, the 90 degree angle, and a diffuser, if they are good in shape and if they are clean. At the culter itself, I will start at the top. Here we have our depth setting. We should move that at least once a year, so we make sure that that one is going easily. Maybe we can use some oil to make it going even a little bit smoother. Then we have our fertilizer disc. We can turn the disc to check the bearing here. And we have the culter. Here it's really important. If the disc is worn out, we may have to replace it because the disc, like you can see here, should always be the deepest point digging in the ground. And the culter should always follow, the fertilizer follow. If you see that the culter maybe is worn out here in that part, also double check the diameter of the disc and make sure that the disc is the deepest point touching the ground. We also have the possibility to adjust the culter If we tighten those two nuts again, we should make sure that the culter slightly touches the disc so it acts a little bit like a scraper. Here in the middle we have a grease nipple. It should get only one push from the grease gun. Because here we are not uh, putting grease to the bearing, we only need some grease for the ceiling so it stays soft. On the opposite, we have our gorge wheel for the fertilizer culter. Please make sure that it touches the disc slightly and if it's in good shape. 